All right, welcome back to Florida Keys Life. The 2024 Miami Boat Show is in the books. First, let me show you why the boat show is so, so important. I've always thought this map was hilarious, but it's logical because we live here, the place of the people with boats. Now, there will probably be dozens of videos from the show, but I found two great products I'd like to show you that I think apply to my boat and might be interesting to you. Stand by as I demonstrate how my Zipwake ride stabilizers work and show you my backup plan for my under the waterline treatment system, the whole shield product. Towards the end, I'll take you on a walk through the Leopard Power Catamarans as they have always been our future plan once we get all the kids out of the house. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Keys Life. So I'm here at the Miami Boat Show in the accessories hall and something that I found really interesting here is the Zipwake display. display. As you know from my walkthrough, I have the Zipwake system on my boat, so it was interesting to learn how it works. I have these what are called blades here that are on the different size, and this is about the size of the blade that's on my transom that acts as trim tabs. And it's really interesting to see how the mechanisms work. Super heavy duty, and if you notice, it's all a composite, some sort of hardcore plastic that's not going to rust, corrode, or rot away. And here in a second, they have a display over here on the water that shows you how it actually works. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, so here we are on the Zipwake simulator machine so you can see how this works. Those are the two blades like on the back of my boat. And so you see right now we're going zero miles an hour. This is the pitch control curve. So this was what helps you pop upon plane. So my boat pops upon plane so quick. I thought it was mostly the torque of my Suzuki's, which it probably plays a certain role, but the zip wake certainly helps pop it on plane. So you see, here's the throttle. I'm going to simulate uh, a hole shot, and you'll see the boat speed pick up, and you'll see the blades actually help me pop up on plane. See how they deployed out right there? I'm getting out. Boom, 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 10 miles an hour. Okay, about 17, 18, I'm on plane. Okay, there we go. It was on plane, and they retracted. So now that I'm going along, this simulates the hull of the boat, and now we'll see the roll from side to side and how the blades go out to help simulate, to help level out the boat. So as I go, now I've got a port roll, and this is simulating the load throughout the boat or maybe the angle of the waves, different loads through the boat, but it keeps it automatically nice and level. And as I do on my boat, you can manually control this, but I just leave it in auto. And it just runs on auto and keeps everything nice and level. So here's another uh, thing they just pointed out. So as you're on plane, I'm going at 27 knots, and I come off plane, it's important to keep the bow of the boat down so you don't slide in the water like this and feel uncomfortable. So as you come off plane, I'm slowing down here. You'll see they deploy again to help keep the bow of the boat down. It just gives you a much nicer ride on the boat. Hey guys, so here's one other thing that I find pretty cool here. It's called hull shield. I don't have it on my boat yet, but this is my backup plan that if my bottom wax and uh, glide coat doesn't work underneath the water line to keep stuff off, it's this little device and you put these little uh, transmitters in a couple spots throughout the hull and it just uh, emits an ultrasonic sound to clear keep things from clinging to your hull. Uh, it's fairly affordable. That's for a single unit, and I think that's, that's a four unit for a bigger boat, but keeps the growth off the bottom of the boat. Uh, and if my waxes don't work, this is what I'm going to. Okay, now we're moving on to the Leopard Catamarans uh, display, and we're specifically showing you this because this is something that we really love. As you can see, the boat in the water the stability of the wide sponsons, but what you get with the power catamarans versus the sailing catamarans is, is speed and efficiency. You can actually get out of the way of weather and speed. They have a top speed around 18 to 20 knots, but then when you back it back down to 8, 10 knots, you have a really efficient hull. But the beautiful part of the catamarans is the wide, huge access you have. I mean, look at this rear uh, cockpit area. You have a huge dining area, tons of space. So if you want to spend some real time <clears throat> on the water, these catamarans are something that we've really eyed. And Leopard seems to have a really good uh, layout that we really like. Um, we're just going to walk you through. This is the 46 model. The mid 40 seems to be the right size that we would target when we're looking you see this you have this huge front bar, bar area they have that walk through cabin so that door opens up in the front 
of the salon area so it's complete breeze through. You have sliding doors in the rear when you enter the galley and you have that open front door, huge decks. That's the beautiful part of this boat. And like I say, our goal one day is to uh, potentially get one of these and spend some serious time just motoring around the Caribbean or different parts we, we might want to. Uh, and you see this huge galley, you get a full size fridge, you got a small dishwasher, you got a sink, you got countertops, you got a cooktop. I mean, this, this is the beauty of a catamaran is you have this huge wide living space and here we're going down into the uh, starboard side uh, stateroom first you see you get a common area with kind of a desk here's all the controls there that you see easy to get to you have a nice common area and desk huge quarters uh, in there all the beds are the same size and the one, one funny thing the leopard does is they curve the foot of the bed which is kind of odd but uh, they seem to, to do it on a regular basis. So uh, Reagan's running the camera. She likes to look in all the drawers. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, so we go in. Here's the the head compartment for the, you get a double sink. I mean, it's just, it's a fantastic space. Uh, really makes spending significant time on the boat uh, really easy. Huge shower area with a toilet and uh, you get nice views and windows i mean when you're anchored out in the middle of nothing and really this whole thing that turned me on to these leopard catamarans was the o'kelly's channel i don't know if anybody follows the o'kelly's on youtube intriguing in fact the first time i was actually searching the exumas in the bahamas was i caught i found their video of a few years ago actually maybe like four or five years ago that they filmed in the exumas and i was like and i, I kept seeing their boat in the background i was like what is that boat i gotta figure this out uh, and here, here's the uh, the two other staterooms for guests or kids or whomever. Over on this side, you have each of them on this particular model have their own head compartment. So I guess technically they're masters. Uh, but huge bunk bedroom area. You still got some storage, some closets and cabinets and such. Um, nice head. Uh, plenty of room to be comfortable. And as you see, with the, the huge space, um, we'll get more to the common space area, but you got plenty of space for people to, to kind of have their own space on the boat, which is the beauty of these of these things. I guess the downfall of the catamaran, you get a washer-dryer combo here. The, the downfall of catamarans, they take up a lot of space um, in a marina. Okay, now we're moving back up into the common area, and we're going to walk up to the flybridge. And the beautiful thing that I alluded to earlier is the three major living spaces. So you have the rear cockpit, you have the flybridge, and the forward deck area. And this flybridge is just amazing. You have this huge table, cooktop, sink, rear lounging area, front area. That's where you run the boat. You have great visibility from up here all your electronics and all your stuff. I'm going to shut up and just let you enjoy the space and see this is one of the goals that we have one day. Uh, please like and subscribe. 2024 Miami Boat Show's in the books. Thanks for coming along.